One of the things that you've heard me talk about is just how important it is to match the hatch. I mean, it's one of those deals that you've heard people talk about for years, but it is really, really important based on the lake that you're fishing. I mean, lakes like Table Rock and, and Beaver, you know, they've got a big population of spots. They've got a huge population of little bitty thread fin shad. There's a bunch of them shore minnows popping around up around the shoreline. And that's when it's so important to throw something like the McStick 95. I mean, it's a smaller profile. It's a little two hook bait. It's a bait that you can cover a lot of water with, but throw something finessey, something that matches the size of those smaller thread fin and the smaller shore minnows. But when I'm fishing a lake that offers, you know, grass and shallower situations and a lot of gizzard shad, I mean, that's when the 115 really shines. It's a floating, high floating bait. It, it'll only dive about one to three feet. So it's the bait that I go to when I'm really on a lake that not only has big bait, but big fish. The 115 is definitely the bait you want to look at big size difference in those two baits and, and that's what makes a difference. I've seen so many times when the size of the, the jerk bait I'm throwing is the biggest thing about catching them or not catching them. All right, we've talked about the variations of matching the hatch, you know, changing size of your jerk baits when you're needing to go smaller, go bigger, go shallower. But one thing we haven't talked about is deeper jerk bait fishing, you know, and one of the things that people kind of misconceive sometimes about jerk bait fishing is they think you're trying to get the bait down to the same depth zone that the fish are in, but when you're fishing for fish that are biting a jerk bait, generally those fish are suspended and sometimes they're well below the, the level that that jerk bait's getting. Generally early in the spring and sometimes late in the fall when the fish first push out deep in the fall or when they very first start trying to make their move in the spring to come shallower, a deep jerk bait is the way to go. I mean, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, most of the jerk baits I'm fishing suspended early in the spring are diving you know, five to eight foot deep. But there's times that those fish are at a level that you just can't quite get to them, and that's when a deep jerk bait really comes into play. I mean, a spoonbill type bait, something that you can get down there deeper, nine to 11 feet, something that you can put in their face when they're less aggressive to come up to that bait. There are times that a deep jerk bait like the McGrip 85 is the way to go. McGrip in action. Something you can get down there in their face, bring it through the, the school of fish, and catch those fish that just aren't willing to come up and get a bait. 